Imagine you are going to present this particular online ordering process to the higher management and this is the slide you have prepared to explain them and believe me if you present something like this you will be kicked out of the company because nobody got the time to go through each step and understand so instead of uh, showing the uh, the process or the steps in a text format is always advisable to use or recommend to use the data flow diagrams so what i did i have taken this particular 12 step which is uh, starting from the customer selects an item till the product is shipped to the uh, the customer all right so all the steps i have just shortened it and i have put it something like this where it is much more easier uh, for the people to understand and from these two slides I have made a data flow diagram which looks something like this as you can see here the first starting point which is a customer he selects an item the products uh, he adds the products to the baskets and this is the basket okay the items added to the shopping basket and then uh, the next step he will do is the checkout so we'll know that what items he has selected that item details will come to the checkout and once he do the checkout the next step is to do a payment collection so if he is paying through a credit card that information will go to the credit card company or the bank okay so there's two-way communication first we'll send that information and then we get the confirmation from the credit card company that yes the payment is received okay so once this is done we will prepare for the order issue then we'll send that information to the inventory department and inventory department will ship the product to the customer and in the meantime when the payment collection is done that information will be logged into the accounting department and a receipt will be sent to the customer so you can see here how easily we have converted uh, the steps into more uh, useful data flow diagram for everyone to understand Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. So add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert, click on icons. I'm going to insert an icon of an employee or a customer. Basically, it's a customer. So I'm just going to type, for example, user or a customer. So you have got a different uh, options here. So I'm just going to choose this one. Click on insert. The icon got inserted here. And I'm going to add one more shape, which is the oval shape draw a small oval shape let me just select this by holding the shift key you can small draw a small oval shape shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give this as light green color then bring this to front and i'm going to give the uh, the icon color as white and then put it exactly in the center so the first thing which we said that uh, the the core uh, person in this particular uh, ordering process is the customer so we have put the customer here and then customer selects an item and item is added to the shopping basket all right so for that what we need to do is we need to add one more oval shape where we are going to add the products to the basket so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this particular shape hold the control shift key and you can bring it exactly in the center all right and then you can just give some different color Maybe I'm just going to give a color which is a light blue color here and here I'm going to type add products to the basket or to the cart. So first of all go to the insert text box and here I'm going to say add products to basket or the cart. All right center align i'm going to use the font open sans uh, semi bold or any other font of your choice you can put it and maybe i'm going to give a size of 14 here and exactly put it in the center and once this is done and i would like to add and define this as a customer otherwise people don't know whether what exactly this icon is so i'm just going to say a customer here all right okay so then the first thing is we'll uh, add a line to it okay so we'll connect it these two uh, oval shapes so for that go to insert shapes and select the line with your arrow line arrow and from here 
just drag and connect to this one you can see here so let me just move this aside a little bit and i will just connect this one to this and then i'm going to put this back here all right so so here what i'm going to do is select item so customer selects item and adds to the basket so i'm just going to add the same thing press ctrl d to this one and i'm going to say a, a type select select items all right and then for this the font size i'm going to reduce it to maybe to 12 and left align and i'm going to put it here okay so the first you can see here customer selects an item add it to the shopping basket so that particular part we have done here after that one what we need to do is we will add one shopping basket here as well okay so for that i'm going to select this particular uh, oval shape hold the shift key and just drag this one to the right and here if you want you can insert some icon also which i can just say a basket kind of thing if you want so you know it looks more kind of a more professional so i'm just going to type a uh, basket and you can see here i've got this basket design and just click insert and i'm just going to put it here and if you want the font uh, the, not the font the color of the icon you can just change to white and then i'm going to define this as a shopping basket all right so i'm just going to say shopping this is show PPI and shopping basket. All right, so this is the shopping basket. And once what we'll do is we'll do a connection here also. For this, I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D, hold the shift key, not the shift key, sorry. Just drag this one and put it here. And this connector, I'm just going to put it for the problem is I have to just move this a, a little bit here and then attach it and bring this back okay so now you can see here this is a shopping basket so here I'm going to type one more uh, text which will case say that basket items so basket items yeah so this is the basket item so you can see here uh, the flow is the customer selects the item add products to the basket and here this is the shopping basket so once this is done he will check out so i'm going to select this one hold the shift key and bring this down here all right and then the text also i'm going to copy it here and then the text i will say as check out and put it exactly in the center and then for this also i'm going to connect the line so press ctrl d so this one will come here and this will be connected to this all right and then we can add one more line where we can see that the uh but the item details will be checked out here so what are the items for that i'm going to insert one more uh line which is the elbow arrow you can see here and from here and i'm going to put it here okay so let me just move this because the size is big that's the reason so i'm just going to put it here and for this i can just put as item details here at the time of checkout okay so item details all right so we have put the item details here so once this is done the next step which we need to do is let me just go and see payment is processed okay so the next thing is a payment collection so for that let me just select both of these hold the control shift key bring it down and i'm going to say as this one as uh, collect payment all right so this is the payment collection and again one more arrow press control d which will come from here on the top to the this one will check out to the payment collection and once the payment collection is done if it is doing through a credit card okay that information has to go there okay for that go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a small rectangle here and you can just give any color of your choice maybe i'm just going to give a kind of a dark purple color shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and i'm going to 
duplicate this and put it here and I'm going to change the font color as white all right and then I'm going to say as this is the credit card company credit card company all right so that information has to go be actually it has to be both the ways okay two way communications okay so one is i'm just going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d hold the shift key make it straight and put it here one okay this information right so this information what is this information this information is nothing but the post payment uh, text okay just press ctrl d so you can see here uh, order is issued payment is processed and if you want you can just go to more details here okay you can see here collection the system process the payment by interacting with the credit card company okay that's the reason i'm putting the credit card company here so here this is a very short text so you'll not be getting but more idea on this one if you want to know more idea just go to this particular information okay so i'm just going to type here uh, as post payment all right and i'm going to put it here and then i'm going to once that information is received okay press ctrl d it should be the other way around so i'm just going to the shape format rotate and i'm going to make it flip horizontal and here i'm going to say as receive amount or receive money whatever you call it so you can see here again if you go here you can see this one post payment confirmation payment confirmation is sent back okay so for that one i'm just going to say that money received or payment received so let me just uh, payment received okay there's a confirmation we got from the credit card company all right so once this is done the next step is we have to issue the order okay so for that i'm going to select this both the shapes hold the shift key and bring it down the thing is now we have very less space so what we need to do is i'm just going to select this one and i'm going to move it up okay let me just give some less space to it between this one so that i can put it exactly here or i can just move by pressing ctrl a and i'm going to move it more up all right you can see here and still i have got some more space i need to reduce it so let me just reduce it further all right and then even duplicate this one press ctrl d and attach this one properly okay so the good thing is even if you move sorry even if you move this one let me just put once again this is not connected properly yes yeah so what happens here is even if you move this one this line will move along with that one okay just make sure that it is properly you know attached to this one all right so once the collection that means here we have got something called order issue all right order issue and now we have to have some more information which we need to do again for that we need to just go here and see inventory check and shipment shipping request request is made to the inventory to ship the product so for that we need to add one more box which is inventory all right so i'm just going to type inventory here all right and if you want you can just give some different color combination here so maybe i'm just going to give this color and put it exactly in the center and here i'm going to say this particular line let me just add this line or this line press ctrl d here i'm going to select from this to this and duplicate this one and i'm going to say as shipping request okay all right and make sure that this is properly aligned straight line has to be there okay so once this is done the next thing what we need to do is we have to dispatch the product to the customer for that i'm going to select this particular elbow arrow press ctrl d 
and I'm just going to select here and this one till here and I'll move a little bit okay so what we call this one as okay here I'm just going to type as ship product okay which is directly going to the customer all right so before that one we have got few more steps also inventory accounting logs order okay the accounting department logs the financial detail of the order all this information also we need to add it here so once this is done uh, once the payment collection is done it has to go to the accounts also okay so for that let me just select both of this press ctrl d and here i'm going to make this as accounting department and i will give a different color combination here and i'm going to say as accounting okay so accounting so what happens here is one we once we have received the payment that order information has to go to the accounting for that i'm going to duplicate this one so put it here this and then this one has to come from here and this one i'm just going to say as order info press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to type as order info the order information received received to the finance department and from the once the payment is received we have to inf notify the a customer as well so for that we have to receive the uh, the we have to send the receipt okay so for that one i'm going to attach this one to this one and i'm going to duplicate this and i'll say this as a confirmation as send receipt send receipt and if you want you can just change the direction which is uh, this one you can see here uh, rotate 270 degrees and increase the size and i'm going to put it here send receipt to the customer so you can see here almost we have uh, completed our uh, our data flow diagram where you can see here how it was we are giving all the steps in a text so it will be difficult for the for the end user to understand is instead uh, create a data flow diagram which will be easy easier for everyone to understand